She looking yeah. like Operator. you Sleepy lying. Time. She looking like you lying. <laughs> I'm. I was lying. Nah. Did Jack? Hey, look, he thought it cheeks. was immaculate. It was yep. Ten times better. Tati gave him that look. Oh, you thought you was killing it? <laughs> exactly. You thought exactly. I was feeling you. And so I, I had to redeem myself. Shout out the redeem team doc. Definitely motivated <laughs> me to. <laughs> okay, okay. I I already <laughs> said how the first two times <laughs> went. And if you ain't fucking with this podcast, then you're just a bitch ass trick. Welcome back to another episode of Save for the Pod, episode number 88, the Demarius You're... Thomas episode, burr, burr, burr. Rest in peace. We record in what? on a Saturday. Marvin Demarius? Harrison was 88 yeah, too. Demarius Thomas. The I mean, Demi- the... isn't it Demetrius? Oh, maybe it was Demetrius. <laughs> it might I, be Demetrius. Yeah, Demetrius, that Demarius. high key racist. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't. I, I thought it was Demarius. I forget. It, may, it might be. Maybe I'm the racist <laughs> one. Maybe it's Demarius. Yo, we're not starting off too hot. <laughs> Well, Marvin Harrison was 88. Yeah, Marvin Harrison was also 88, and we said Reggie went last week, so we'll just keep yeah. it with uh, Marvin. The Marvin episode. Oh, it is Demarius, but there was a Y in it. It threw me off. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Demarius gotcha. Thomas. Well, I was saying we were recording on a Saturday morning, so sorry if we have a little bit of brain fog and we're not too fresh and energetic as usual, but we still going to make sure we bring that motherfucking energy. Hey, nigga, speak for yourself. I'm a morning person. <laughs> yeah, me too. I just... Wait, you said I, you a, you are a morning person? Yeah, yeah I am. I've always been a morning so person. So then why are you saying speak for yourself? Because you said for the early morning fog. Oh, oh, well, yeah. I, I think we're all morning people, but... Ain't no fog right now, nigga. I'd be true, more fogged at true, night. True, true, But I you... Feel not fog, I feel like you a morning and a, a night owl. Like, you could be up late. I, y'all know I can't stay up that late. Yeah. That's true. It's, but I, I prefer to stay... I prefer to get up earlier than stay same. up super late. Same, same, same. Yeah, I like getting up early, too, but I do like staying... Like, I have, I have FOMO, you know? I don't want to yeah. miss out on nothing. Yeah. So I'll stay up if there's a good reason. If not, I'm knocking out. Yeah, I'll thug it out for the cause. Nah, for sure. I, I try my best, but if we chilling in a house, like it's a house party, I'm going to be starting nodding off. <laughs> Speaking of house parties. Yes. Shout out to Cynthia. Shout out Sin she and the, the Singh family. She yes. did. Shout out Sin. That, the presentation was beautiful. Yes. I was like, all right, she's going to set some shit up. I know she likes to decorate, blah, blah, blah. We get there. I'm like, oh, shit, this is spooktacular. <laughs> yes. So... The decorations were immaculate. The food was amazing. Shout out everybody that uh, brought in food. Oh, Tariq, yeah, everything was good. The spread made, was, like, amazing, bro. Tariq made some fire-ass jerk chicken wings. Sous vide some steak. Yes. Oh, so Tariq made the jerk chicken? Yes. Yeah, the, the chicken the wings? was fire. Oh, everybody talked about the chicken. Yeah, I know <laughs> he was, was hearing about it. He was missing out. He's like, ooh. Well, I was, I was next to this nigga Zach all night. He come back, <laughs> another play with a chicken. Like, yeah. what's some good ass chicken? Because I also <laughs> didn't eat the whole day. I was, I I was struggling. Too. So that, that chicken definitely saved my life. The steak looked like it was cooked well. well like, steak was yeah. fire. Steak, yeah, little, steak looked good. good. Like, and they came around with a little toothpicks. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, also we want to shout out to uh, to Luke because he made that those fire menus. Yes, mm-hmm. and bought like forty five of them. Yeah, and I feel like Luke was probably underselling. I feel like Luke probably helped out a lot more than what he made it seem like. So shout out to Luke anyway. Possible that you helped that day. He probably just wanted Sin to get her credit. But yeah, she snapped. Yeah, and her mom liked the uh, her mom liked my uh, sliders. Oh so my god! Tell gosh. her mom I said what up. <laughs> Dang, Luke's not even here, so he might be like, "Oh, you gotta bleep that out." Oh, we won't even say what it was, but he was wild on the mic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was wild, <laughs> he was on, the wild on the mic. <laughs> With the moms right With there, With the mom bro. there. Right there. <laughs> Called it out, too. Said, I know moms is here, but... uh, <laughs> With the moms right there. He's like, yo, get this man off the mic. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, no, like I was saying, decorations were dope. Food was dope. The vibes were dope. The only thing is when the invitations were first sent out, it said 6 to 10. And in my head, I'm like... These Guyanese people, they Caribbean people, there is zero chance this is going until 10 o'clock. I knew this shit was going to go late into the night because yeah. you probably left we at left like at 10. We left at midnight. Yeah. Or, yeah, you went you, out somewhere else, right? Yeah. Wait, we left. I want to say we left like 1130 midnight. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, well, I think it was definitely midnight for sure. We was yeah. well past 10 for sure. Yeah, I left uh, maybe 30, 45 minutes after you. And then when I got home, Luke was like, bro, I wish y'all never left. It looks like there's no sign of slowing down. I'm like, yeah, this shit. I didn't get home that night. There was no sign of slowing down, but like, I was tired. (laughs) Like, I was was up early that morning. Same, same. Because Luke and I had a game. So 
I was exhausted that day, but it was still a good time. I definitely wanted to stay, but I got to had to meet it with other people, and we mm-hmm. didn't get we didn't get back home to like three thirty, bro. I was so hungover the next day. Yeah, yeah. I was struggling because we after we left Luke's, we went to a gay bar in one manner, mm-hmm. with they charging twenty to get in, which I thought was a rip off. Yeah. Then you get up in there. You're not even gay, right? I'm not gay, no. But um, Patty, Mike's sister was in town. Mm-hmm. So Mike's sister was in town, and they she had a couple friends up. One of her friends is gay, and one of um, Patty's homeboys is gay. Right. And, like, his boyfriend. So they invited him out. So we wanted to hang out with him. So it's like, yeah, we in Wood Manor. Pull up to Wood Manor. Well, we I'm went, saying they made you pay, and you, like, oh, yeah. you couldn't even partake. Because <laughs> right, we went there last year for the block party. I mean, could have. <laughs> I mean, yeah. We went there last year for the block party, which is cool. So we went to a bar this time, and the music, just like the music in gay bars, be trash. I ain't gonna hold you. Really? That's crazy. Like, what is it? It's is like it EDM, but like trance EDM. So when I was in Cincinnati, the best club that Tatiana and, and I went to that played the best music was a gay bar. Oh, that's lit. Nah, the ones in the ones in one manner be all straight. Yeah. Not even it's like that, but with the trance, so you feel like you kind of yeah. got to be on drugs. Yeah. I don't know. I had a good time. Made the best of it. I took some They're dudes. Probably selling selling drugs underneath the table. Yeah. I, I took some gay dudes marshmallow helmet and put it on <laughs> and start putting it on my hat and start robotting and shit. So wait, what? Phil definitely enjoyed it. So we made yeah, yeah I made yeah. The, I made the most of it, and then we went to the wharf after. And Feel then they brought there. tequila and water. Da, 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 da. You went to the wharf after too. After the gay bar, we went How, to the wharf. Uh, wharf was kind of good in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, the wharf was kind of yeah. good. It was just, bro, I was, I was done. Yeah. Bro, I could never do that. What Phil just did, <laughs> I don't think I've, I've ever been able to actually do that. Yeah, you went to three places. Yeah, I ain't told you I get home till like three thirty, bro. When yeah, I'm, but the I'm thing is, drunk. you went to Wilton Manors. The wharf which, charged, which is closer to your house. Yeah, and then you went like further from your house. So the I drove all the way to Wood Manor, right? This was the craziness. We got in the Uber to Uber to the wharf. I had to Uber back to Wood Manor to drive home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, that's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out to Halloween. It was a great Halloween this year. Shout out, um, son. You did your thing, girl. Yes, for sure, for sure. Um, but how y'all boys been this week outside of Halloween and all that shit? Uh, I've been good. It was uh, The week went fast, and there was like a bunch going on. Next no, week at work is like biggest week of the year for retail, so. Okay. Why? Wow, what's going be on? crazy. That's City Edition drops. Oh, yeah. Them cities going to be hard. I can't even remember what they look like. Bro, it's the colorway. Oh, you can't it's say not, It's not. A oh, it hasn't, it hasn't been. Oh, okay. Officially. I, like, <laughs> I mean, it's, le- it's leaked. Yeah. But, yeah. So okay. I can't. I'm going to keep an eye out for it. Yeah, it was, it's dropping uh, on Thursday at midnight. <clears throat> So there'd be like teasers out Wednesday. But haven't other teams already released there? Yeah, like uh, Celtics are out. Um, but that's mostly because of uh Bill Russell. They're honoring you. him and they wanted it for the first game or whatever. Got you. But other than that, no one should be selling at least. Got you, got you, got you. How about you, Phil? How you been? Uh we go straight, G. Has been tired. Um, yeah, man. I was backed up at work all week. Cause I had remember I took two I took I remember I told you I took two days off last week. Mm-hmm. So of course when you take two days off, like no one actually assists with your work. It's only when you take like three days off, which is stupid. Yeah. So like. So you had a bunch of catching bunch up. Bunch of shit you. to yeah. have like a hundred emails, a lot of voicemails I didn't return, and phone calls and just claims I'm trying to catch up on and still trying to like hit my numbers. So yeah, that's that's stressful. Yeah. Taking time off is fun, but then it's just like, yeah, I'm that's just going like to be drowning when I come back. Yeah. That's why I don't like to take time off. For a week. Yeah. Danny's like, oh, you never take time off work. I'm like, yeah, because if I just take a day where I'm like, oh, let me just take a day because I just sound like going to work. I'm backed up for like a week and a half. Yeah. I'm straight. It's not worth it. <laughs> and now on the flip side for me, like even when I am off, I feel like I'm just like catching up in, on air. Unless I take like an actual vacation, vacation, and you know, like leave the city, leave yeah. the state, whatever. Um, usually I'm doing errands yeah do shit yeah so but going right into the topics we want to start off saying r.i.p to take off a member of the migos if you didn't know who he was you living under a rock but (laughs) take off he young for mama Mama. (laughs) he he unfortunately uh was shot and killed during an alleged dice game that i guess went wrong and it was allegedly also crossfire uh, from him and Quavo's bodyguard. So it's rough. It's rough. We keep losing rappers. Um, it's because niggas don't fight no more. Yeah. 
Well, you said and it was. You said it was accidental. Like he wasn't even involved. That's what you heard. Well, and that's what all the reports were saying. Like he was standing off to the side or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So how? I, I, so from the videos, what had happened was like some dude got into it with Quavo, or they had got into it, and um, I guess Quavo was like, from the video, it seems like he's trying to leave, and I guess Buddy swung on him. He's like Come something on, like, Quavo. man, I ain't about to do this shit with y'all niggas or something like that. Along those lines, and was getting ready to bounce. Man, buddy swung on him, so they got to fighting, and then somebody started shooting, but they just started shooting, not really aiming, just letting yeah. off shots, and then uh, takeoff got hit, and another person got hit too. I think um, I think uh, Quavo's cousin, one of their cousins maybe, mm-hmm. yeah, got hit too, but it just wasn't fatal, and yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, that sucks for Quavo though. Like your uncle or your your nephew gets killed because you got into an argument. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then on top of everything, like a little bit smaller, but then Offset, they've been having that kind of beef or they've whatever beefing, with Offset. Yeah. So. so it's like you lose a homie and y'all not even on the best of terms. That's the yeah. worst. Yeah. So life's too short. Don't have beef with nobody. If you got any beef, hit that person up, apologize, squash that shit, yeah, put just, it behind you because you never know. And just shooting in a crowd like that is just not exactly. smart. It's too exactly. many people you know right there. Just got to brawl that out. Exactly, bro. Sometimes you just got to fight it out and not shoot. Exactly. But niggas is pussy. But go ahead uh, and stream t- uh, Quavo and Takeoff's album that dropped a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully the proceeds go to Takeoff's family. Did y'all listen to it? Yeah, I listened once. I think I briefly brought it up on a pod. It was oh. what it's what you would expect. Okay, I'm not too big in amigos, so I didn't. Yeah, me much. me neither. Like I don't hate them, but I'll listen to it if I need Mm-mm. to. Mm-mm. They don't make bad music. It's just yeah. all sound the same for like the right. last yeah, five, yeah, yeah. six years. Exactly. So you know what you're getting. It's exactly. like Drake. Same reason I don't listen to Drake that much. Exactly. All right, so we in November, holiday season, Christmas. Not here yet, but it's coming up. Lindsay wanted to know what is on our Christmas lists. Hey, shout out Young DP. <laughs> yes, DP. shout out Young DP. <laughs> so what's what's on y'all Christmas lists? It's probably like um, either it's like gonna be probably. I mean, not, none of the stuff I want is probably gonna be bought for because it's a little expensive. Yeah, and that's <laughs> like a lens. How it goes for me, and yeah. then um, and then probably like stuff for the house or or whatever. Or just like work, working on houses. But we're probably going to try to get this out during Black Friday. So that's okay. what I'm thinking. Okay, okay. What about you, Phil? Fighting gear. So I need new MMA gloves. I need new boxing gloves. I probably need MMA shin pads. Is that that stuff seems like it'd be expensive for no reason. Is that shit expensive? No, the MMA gloves, I can, you can get some good MMA gloves for cheese. But boxing gloves I want are expensive because what they're is, really nice brand. Cheap. cheap MMA gloves is like 60 Okay. 60, 70 bucks. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, it's not that bad. For both? Or no, the boxing gloves? gloves I want is like, for both a pair, I think it's like 250 Oh, jeez. Because they're rated as boxing gloves. They're like one of the top brands. So I don't need to go that high, but yeah. if I'm going to get a nice gift, might as well just <laughs> go that high. That, maybe a bottle of cologne and um, maybe some What makes them better? Some jewelry. Some jewelry. So I can start accessorizing a little bit. I figure I can throw a ring or two on and like a little chain. I don't need the big nothing, yeah. but I'm, Bro, I'm I'm not pissed, but it's funny that you said that because jewelry is, I feel like, what I want every single year. What? You said what? And I never get it. Jewelry. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> jewelry. I didn't understand you. Say that again. Jewelry. 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 Jewelry is what I want every single year. And the funny thing is. Um, it ain't I, even about the jewelry, right? <laughs> nah, it's not about the jewelry. But my my family, obviously from Suriname, one of the main exports from Suriname is gold. So every oh, year, cool. like if my mom would go to Suriname or my grandma would come here, they'd be like, oh, what do you want? And for years and years and years, I've always said, I want a chain. I want a chain. Yeah. I want a chain. Never gotten a chain. They always come back with rings, which now I, I fought with rings a little bit more. But at the time, I didn't really fuck with rings. Um, and the thing that sucks about Suriname, like when you buy jewelry for like a kid or whatever, mm-hmm. it's not like one full circle. Like there will be a slit so you can kind of adjust it because obviously a, a gonna kid's going to be growing. Yeah. So I've, I had rings for days. I ended up selling them, um, I think right before I moved to Ohio, but yeah, I want a chain. Hopefully Tatiana listens to this episode and gets me a chain or my parents. Yeah. Just let her fly to, um. Sorry, no. Yeah, I tried to wear a ring once when I was a jit, and I just didn't like it on my fingers. And then I had a, 
Jamaica. I think I had a gold chain once. Look at him. Just adopted in Florida. <laughs> when he For was real. legit. Yeah. And then I had, I used to wear this cross, like wooden cross. A years. wooden one. Yeah. I had it from one of my days in Waukegan. And I, don't, I remember one day I lost it. You're a vampire slayer? <laughs> I don't know, bro. It was like it was what they gave us at the church. It's like uh, all the all the kids in the neighborhood. They just gave them yeah, like these little ones, cause like the projects. Like, <laughs> like, the the church was right next to the projects. Yeah. So I never ever remember if I told y'all this story. How when I used to live in Keegan, we'd have to go to Sunday school and mm-hmm. we would skip Sunday school to go play basketball. Sunday school. Week, <laughs> and Sunday school, we play yeah. basketball until we got caught. But yeah, they'd give you this little wooden ne- uh, like wooden cross with like a little black rope and all yeah. the, and bro. That, all my cousins, we wore that until keep the demons well in high school. Yeah, <laughs> and I lost it one day, and I was kind of I was kind of depressed. I wore yeah. it every day, and then in college, I just had my uh, I had like all my um like Bob Marley and like Jamaican pendants. Okay. Oh, and African. then you did, and then didn't Bert make you like a little crystal? Joint? Yeah, he did make me a crystal. My aunt, the onyx. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've always worn like little chakras and shit. <laughs> Never like big ass gaudy gold necklace. I wear yeah. like the skinny stuff. Yeah um try to get back into it shoes i feel like I, is always on my list every year but What's this shoes, year there's this, no this year i have nothing that that i want you don't want the sketch or yeezys <laughs> nah i'm good on that i'm good on that um cologne is another good thing i've been wanting the new xbox for for years now but i'm gonna wait until ncaa comes out next year to get that but that's pretty much all I got on my list. I was trying to keep up with luke on the cologne tip but he kind of blew me out the water so i was like i'm not spending that much on cologne because mm-hmm. yeah Folks be like, let's see who got the most cologne. <laughs> Next thing you know, he fucking got five bottles. Exactly. And I'm like, yo, he's chill. So, I'm like, so chill, chill, bro. I'm like, I got a bottle. He's like, bro, I just got three new bottles and I just spent 80. I just spent 300 on this little ass bottle. And I'm like, yeah, you got it. Bro, you should, <laughs> I'm not doing you that. should ask for like Eagles tickets or some shit. Oh, that would be lit. Um, I should, but how I want to do the Eagles game, my first Eagles game, I want to go to Philly. So yeah. I probably want to make a trip out of it with Danny one year. Yeah. Right. So, so he, she buys, that's what he's saying. She buys you whatever is more expensive, either the trip to Philly or the tickets. Mm. How I don't does, know anybody does, a, No, yeah. NFL, you don't know the schedule until like later, so you wouldn't even know there's... I mean, you could buy like a you game, could, a guaranteed game, you know, like a Cowboys-Eagles or some yeah. shit like that. I would just probably get like a season opener because that'd be yeah. fun. Yeah. Oh, why? I mean, you should go this year. Yeah, because they're good. Well, they'll be good for. I think they'll be good for the next couple of what, years. Though. You're up there. Where do they play when you're um when you go up there for Thanksgiving? Because mm. it's not far, bro. From where he's from at, DC? it'll be it'll be like two but, two hours max. Yeah, drive. But, That's like going to West Palm. So I don't know if that'll work now because Sunday we fly out. Danny we had to take another day off work. She's not doing all that mm. shit. It'd be okay. such a term. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't work, but yeah, they would. That's what's that? They probably be playing. They should be playing Washington. The if they, yeah, if they time. if they don't, I mean, you yeah, that's true. They be playing Washington or the at, Giants. It would have to be at home because you want. When does the there. regular season end? Like mid January. Nah, like I think it's December. No, it might be. I, all I know is Super Bowl is always in February. Right. Is so it, I think it's like late December. Maybe the first week of January. Yeah. Extra week. So yeah, if she were to buy you, then that means she'd be buying you playoff tickets. So she'd have to buy you tickets for like next Them year. Them shits ain't cheap. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Um, they would be at the Packers. Wait, oh, no, it'd be the Packers? Packers. The Packers would be in Philly on the twenty seventh that oh, Sunday. But it's cool. a it's an eight twenty game, and we fly out. It's yeah. a Sunday night. Yeah. yeah. Well, do it for tell her to do it for the culture. What is the not best gift y'all have ever gotten, but maybe like the most memorable gift that you've ever gotten on Christmas? Mm. Mm. I don't know. For me, it might have been a, a Jordan jersey when I was a jit. Mm. The most memorable gift. My, on I, I guess my most memorable one. I guess it's kind of funny, but um, I've actually, I've only bought underwear as an adult maybe twice really because every single year my dad would get me like because <laughs> they go on sale yeah <laughs> so he would buy like three packs and i'd be yeah. like all right i'm straight for the year yeah yeah and yeah. then next year like you would do that every year except for like i think last year or the past two years and i'm looking around I'm like damn i need new underwear <laughs> like i have never really bought underwear before <clears throat> all right um I don't know. The thing is, my Christmas gift and birthday gifts, I get them conflated because back-to-back months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So um, you don't remember which was which? Yeah, but I know Danny got me this Apple Watch. Well, um, cr- Christmas, you got the, the jersey. Yeah. The, was the, I thought that was my birthday? Oh, it might have been for your birthday. I think that was my birthday. I was Because I was going to say my Brian Dawkins jersey, but I think that was my I birthday. I think it was, because remember it came early and you thought it, it was yeah. Danny's gift. Yeah, I want to say that was my birthday. Because I was going to say, actually, I was going to say that, but now I was like, I think that was my birthday. I don't know. I think maybe. I does don't... Danny know yet that you spoiled that gift? Yeah, she does. <laughs> he told her right away, right? Yeah, I did. I didn't oh, okay. want to, but I told her. I was still excited. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I get, I usually get good gifts, bro. I'm simple. Like, um, a lot of the stuff that I have is usually from gifts, like colognes, and mm-hmm. well, most of the jewelry I have is from gifts. Okay, got you, got you. All right, we can move on. Um, so Phil actually has a question of the week this week. Do you know what the question is? I wrote it last night, but I don't remember. <laughs> What's the most important thing that life has taught you so far? That is a good question. I think for me, so like you get to think about this for a long time. That just live life every day. Life is way too short. Yeah, and this has nothing to do with the takeoff situation that just happened. But I feel like people always try to plan for the future and think try to live their life for the future instead of just living in the present. Like. I know people always joke about, around about me like falling in love so quick. And when it comes to relationship, you have girls that are like, oh, I don't want to get into this relationship because this might happen, this might yeah. happen, this might happen. Where I just get in and kind of just go with the flow and enjoy that shit. If the good happens, great. If the bad happens, then oh well, at least I tried. So just live life. and f- In the present. Yes, live yeah. life and live it in the present. Stop worrying about the future so much. That's a good one. That is a good one. I was, I was, when I was thinking, I was like, I might go look, like you said, the press, like live mm-hmm. in the present type thing, but I'll think of another one. Go ahead, Phil. Um, for me, it's, I would say, say yes more times than you say no in terms of like just meeting people and experiences, right? So for me, some of the best experiences in life came on just random, like, hey, what you doing? That's you want to do this? Yeah. So it's like, you know, a lot of people sound like, oh, you should be such and such diligent with your time unless you like training to be something crazy or you mm-hmm. so focused like you don't want no distractions i understand that but like if you like most regular folks and you have time to do stuff and you get invited to something i would say even if it's out of your comfort zone and you're not familiar with it i would say yes i would say I always go more so with yes than no because you don't know what that experience will teach you and you also don't know who you can meet along the way. And, yeah, that's some of my greatest memories. So that's what I, what yeah. I kind of live by. Is like, yo, if anybody invite me to something and I'm free, I'm trying to do it. Yeah, I'm like, fuck sure. it. So. That's a good one, too. I'm kind of like that. Um, And the thing is, every time you do that, you're going to – you might not have a good time every time, but – you're gonna only remember the good times that you did do it. You exactly. Know? Like, and, <laughs> if, yeah. it, if if it was bad, like oh, whatever, I did it, and I'm not gonna care about this anymore. But then you really remember the good times, and like oh, I really like that. I'm gonna do that again. It might just open you up to something else. Exactly. Like I didn't think I liked NASCAR, and yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I do that shit again. Yeah, you didn't even you didn't even talk about that. How is the did did he mm-hmm. last pod? Mm-hmm. Nah, I didn't. No, okay. NASCAR was dope. Yeah, how was the NASCAR trip? It was cool. Oh, you might have t- you've talked about it a little bit in it. Oh man, it was. It cool. might have been before. I thought I the did. Podcast. It might have been before the podcast because I was saying I explained why I was laughing at your post. Oh yeah, no. Um, it was cool, man. It's like if you ever just wanna if the, if now nah, if it's brutally hot outside, it would suck. But yeah. like we just got lucked up on some really great weather. So NASCAR, like the tickets aren't so expensive, and the best part about NASCAR, bro, is like you could bring your own lunch. Oh, I didn't know that. You can bring your own drinks. It's pretty much like BYOB. Yeah. You can bring your own cooler as long as it's just not a hard cooler. Yeah. So in our cooler, we had like, I had six beers. Danny had like four white claws. She packed wraps. I packed wraps, snacks, and cookies. And yeah. you just sit in the stands and just listen to cars going in a circle. It's just like a picnic. It's just like a picnic, but with loud ass cars. It was but fun, man. How, I enjoyed it. How was the vibe? People welcoming? Yeah, man. It was cool. Um. <laughs> I thought I'd see more like redneck ish vibes type ish people, mm-hmm. but now it's just hella it's South Florida. So yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's South Florida, so yeah. it was hella like Spanish people, hella black people too. Really, didn't realize like so many black people, like a lot of young black kids out there, which is cool. Um, and I had on my Stone Cold shirt, so yeah, had on my Stone Cold <laughs> shorts, some jorts, so I looked like I fit in. I walked <laughs> past one old white dude, looked at me, and was like, "Sprite, brother." 
gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah. So it was cool, man. It was fun. I didn't um, take some, he- for sure, take headphones with you because it is loud, but just that experience. Oh, of, it's that loud? Bro, it's loud. It's, <laughs> yeah, but and you can really get up close. Like, there's yeah. this little stand, like, right next to the track where you can get some good videos. It's it's cool, this, man. This, like, the stadium be shaking, right? You can feel like it. Yeah. yeah, you can feel it when they first come out and when they come through in packs. Like right. I was hoping, I was hoping I saw a crash on our side, but that no one got hurt. Obviously, yeah. Jeez. so there were crashes or no? It was a crash right. on the other side. Um, is the track as big or bigger or smaller than what you thought? Oh, it's big. It's huge. It was like um, it's one mile around. No, it's like yeah, but some's are like some are like two. I think that one might have been more than a mile. I think mm-hmm. that one might have been like a mile and a half, maybe. It was okay. nice. It's hard to kind of like see the the cars like you can see them on your side when it gets outside of track and they got this little ass tv bro they yeah. bogus as hell for having this little ass tv yeah. like i don't know what they was i don't know what nascar was thinking but like the actual vibes in itself was cool like the flyover is dope as hell mm-hmm. i'm walking up and they doing a flyover i'm trying to record it right and i'm like trying to look into the sun miss the whole damn thing really? i was like danny's like how did you miss that i'm like i don't know but like the flyover is fire yeah it's just like a f- friendly family environment which is I did not expect. I thought I was gonna be walking to like Hickville. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking Bud Budweisers and Yeah, maybe if Maga. he was in like Bama or something. Yeah. I don't even know where the other races are. Homestead's literally oh Daytona There's five. Charlotte, Daytona. We have in Alabama. Um, we have, we have oh, Talladega. Talladega. Indy. No, yeah. Indy's it's five hundred. Where is Talladega? That's Alabama. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um I don't know, other than that. Yeah, and it's funny that you went to NASCAR that week because I think our boy Eric Eric Dunn um, went to F1 that same week, and he's been to a lot of NASCAR races, and he said that the uh, F1 was way better, yeah. like in his opinion. Really? But it's a completely oh, he went different. went to F1 in Austin. Yeah, it's a completely different vibe, like different crowd. Um, I feel like, like F1 would be more bougie. Yeah, it's more affluent because it's definitely an expensive that sport. It's an international both sport. Are, both are both are very expensive. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I think F one's probably a little F one cars yeah. cost way more. NASCAR's mm-hmm. all about the power. Yeah. But he said that that was a lot better. Um and I kinda wish that I would have went to the F one race down here at Hard Rock just to see what the tickets were like a thousand. Were it were they? Bro. Like weekend tickets. Yeah. yeah. My um my dad was just telling me because he he didn't follow it closely, but he's been and um Jamaican people love F one. And so a lot of our um our heads like Jamaican friends or people that Lily's played soccer with, like their their parents go and they're going to Dubai for it. And like the tickets for a weekend pass were a thousand here and in Dubai it's three hundred. That's so they're like that's nuts. It's, it's worth it to make the trip basically yeah. for them. <clears throat> I I wonder if uh I'm sure it is if NASCAR betting is like a big thing. Probably, I just thought that was cool that you could bring your own. Yeah. Like, you know how many more sporting, how how much more fun sporting events would be if you can bring for your sure. own shit and just chill. Yeah, you know what I mean. You don't have to pay for all this nasty ass food and overpriced. But I, well, yeah, one because you can get it back in ticket prices. Yeah, the companies they're definitely trying to make the food revenue. But two, I feel like just from a safety standpoint, because was there not like metal detectors and shit that they the were loosest metal detectors yeah. I've ever been through in life, bro. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, stadiums they worry about bond threats. And like, if they start allowing people to bring food and whatever they want, like, it'd be way harder to. I also feel like niggas not targeting NASCAR events <laughs> <laughs> for like hate crimes. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's true. It's like you got to play the numbers. So I don't know. That's facts too, because a lot of people probably have concealed. They Especially all pack in there anyways. Yeah. yeah. So that's not the crowd you want to go to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you think? Of, did you say anything? For... Oh, um, mine's gonna be uh, probably have empathy. I guess. Okay. Or just not like you have to have empathy for everyone in every situation, but if you can empathize with other people, it you'll be happier yourself in the end. Because you, if you could put someone else in your own shoes, you might in their in your in their shoes, you might not um, might not be as mad or whatever. You just have better understanding. Yeah, for but, sure. Yeah, I like both y'all's better, but that's I've, a good one too. I've been working on that these last couple of years. Being yeah. empathetic. Yeah, because I'm not empathetic at all, bro. Danny's used to yeah, tell me. Yeah, but you you also don't get don't get mad about that kind of stuff, you know? Mm mm. Like you're just like, all right, you're not really empathetic, but you just take people for <laughs> as what they are, which is so I'm I was more so saying it because pe- people have like people let outside stuff affect them a lot. Mm. Yeah. 
Then we right. got to make that the Sif Pod mantra. <laughs> Live in the moment. Say yes more than no. And be empathetic. That got to be the Sif Pod mantra. You heard it here then first. We got to get Luke's, Luke's answer too. Yeah, for question. sure. For sure. Um, and everyone in the Discord, I want to hear your guys' uh, I, I want you guys to send them um, your answers too. Yeah. <laughs> Tatiana just crawled. What y'all into, Zach? <laughs> Um, so get it off your chest. Y'all have anything to get off your chest this week? I did, and oh, I was going to no. put it in the notes, and I forgot. Well, I'm that pissed. doesn't help us. <laughs> that doesn't help us at all. <laughs> um, one thing that I want to know, it's more so a question slash get it off your chest, I guess. Mm-hmm. I need to know why white people refuse to say the word aunt. They all say aunt, and it drives me nuts. Yeah. Like Y'all say, you say aunt? aunt? Yeah. You say aunt? You're like my auntie. Yeah. I feel like every black person or person of color says aunt, and then every white person says aunt. Hispanic people would be like, titi, tia. Yeah. Titi, yeah. Hey. I was going to see if she, she taking say, the she, she definitely says aunt, and She's she was raised by her, her white side. Um, yeah, and no, I say aunt. I never thought about that. Yeah, it's A-U-N-T, so I feel like it just makes more sense for it to be aunt. But if you talk to any white person, I bet if we ask Matt and Lindsay, I guarantee both of them say aunt. Not a mustard shot. Um, <laughs> yeah, because people say Auntie Anne's. Yeah. Or Auntie Anne's. I wonder if no, it's like, you know how people pronounce do? pronounce Auntie Anne's. Auntie you say Auntie Anne's? No, I say Auntie Anne's. You pronounce Anne's. Auntie Anne's. I say Auntie Anne's, too. Yeah. Really? Auntie Anne's just sounds like so yeah. like weird. <laughs> auntie, 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 Auntie. <laughs> Too much eh. Um... If you're a Caribbean, you probably say Auntie Ons, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what was I going to say? I wonder if there's like a geo, you know, they do Coke for the South and pop for like, I wonder if yeah. there's like a a geo. Geographical way to say yeah, it. Yeah, But I feel like no matter where the white person is from, because I've talked to people from like the West Coast, Cali, the Midwest, the South, they the Northeast, they all say Ant, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I thought maybe it was just like a southern thing at first, but it's definitely not. You know what I hate? What you hate? That to get off my chest. This wasn't it, but I just thought about it. Um, Social media niggas, bro. They just think they so tapped in and know everything. Like, How so? With this whole Drake shit that we'll get uh, into later. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> bro, like I hate the yeah. the social media scholars. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm right there On with both you. sides. I'm right there <laughs> so with On both you. sides, bro. I hate it. Um. Cause I be just looking at shit. Cause I be it's entertaining. Cause I look I look at like get both sides. There's been like, so much of it too. Yeah. Cause everyone's virtue signaling right now. With the Kyrie, yeah. with the Kanye, bro. It's just so on both much. sides. On both sides. And I'm just like shut the fuck up. Who cares? Yeah. No, I'm right there with That's you. That's what I get, what grinds my gears. I guess I gotta get off my I'm chest. I'm right there with you. Uh, best thing y'all seen this week? Shout out to Patty and Mike. Oh, mm-hmm. yes, yes, sir. Shout out to Culture Chiropractic. They opened yep. up their office. Um, so congratulations to them. That's a major, major, major move. Can't wait to visit them in office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, like, by far the best thing I've seen this week. Whenever you see your friends going to business for themselves, it's admirable. It's inspiring. and mm-hmm. makes me want to step my game up and do some shit. I feel like for I sure. need to do more now. <laughs> yep, bought a business. They're lit. And All my niggas level They have a lot up. of space, too, so they can rent out um, space as well. Yeah. Hopefully it can be a double congrats to Patty if she wins her competition today oh, for yeah. CrossFit. All my niggas leveling up. I feel like I need to do some big <laughs> shit. Yeah, like, same, same, same. You fucking in like, there? Like train for MMA and then win an MMA fight? Yeah, I don't know. It's like, like you, uh, what is, you do college. You, bought a, you got an investment property. Patty and Mike just got a business. Justin just got hired for... Uh, Amazon or Google or Amazon, that nigga's oh, like nice. international now, like nice, works internationally, nice. goes back and forth internationally. That's like, awesome. This nigga's all around me leveling up, and I just, I'm like, I need to do some big shit now. So I don't know what my next big shit is. I think I got an idea. Yeah, but you but. became a killer, and that was one of your goals, remember? True. So I still got some more killing to do. <laughs> anything else y'all got for the best thing you've seen this week? I um, legit don't really have anything. Really? You didn't see your girl naked this week? Well, I oh did. my goodness. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually, actually, no, you're right. That's always the best thing not this to week. Get like, too if I don't in, have a default. Like. Not to get too graphic or in detail, but last week we had sex, tw- sex twice, and I felt like that shit was mad disappointed. Because first time, huh? um, mm-hmm. 
so listen, listen. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. That's so, not this the best shit you've seen. No, game. listen, listen. It, it'll. I, I need to go about the, this the roundabout way. Got to bring this full circle. So prior to us having sex last week, we hadn't had sex in a minute, mm-hmm. and I hadn't been jacking off. So when we the first time we had sex, I kind of nutted quick. Yeah. I'll admit it. And so she was definitely disappointed. She was like, "Oh, let's go round two. I couldn't get it back up. She because she wanted to go round two right away. So she just went and uh, used her vibrator or whatever." And so so then the second time I was the next day I was like yo I need to redeem myself nut it quick again <laughs> but I also felt like she was taking that long to get her nut off so it was a combination of both of us so I felt down and she was clearly frustrated so I'm like damn am I just gonna be a nut quick ass nigga from now on <laughs> So then last week, I'm like, spitter? no, I'm going to give her this dick that she deserved. Mm. <laughs> Went to fucking Pound Town. This shit was immaculate. <laughs> Tatiana just standing over here looking, she looking like, like me lying. Tatiana. She looking like you lying. <laughs> I'm, I was lying? <laughs> Did Jack hey, look, he thought it cheeks. was immaculate. <laughs> it was yep. 10 times better. Tati gave him that look. Oh, you thought you was killing it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I thought exactly. I was feeling you. And so I, I had to redeem myself. Shout out the redeem team doc. Definitely motivated <laughs> yeah, me to. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I already <laughs> said how the first two times <laughs> went. But... <laughs> <laughs> my dog got hey, you took a, you you straight G uh, yeah so like but, when niggas take a long break and then they, they don't self pleasure like you good you got to check their mentals and nah I just I was backed up and it was all ready to come out that first time and then second time like I said it was just like had it been if you're rusty other, you know like you can't just go back to hooping yeah. it's something about like once you pass like 30 31 G you just be like, eh, ain't that big deal no more. But also the issue is every other time Tatiana's like, you taking way too long. You taking way too long. Oh, now the one time that I finally <laughs> finish in a reasonable amount of time, you getting mad at me for nothing quick. My dog is you, out here. You can't, you can't please him. Quick so did. that was the best. So the, your chi clapping abilities was, was the best thing you've yes. seen. Yes. The third time was the best. Yes. <laughs> that was that the best thing he saw yes. this week. I redeem myself. What about you, AJ? Um... I mean, I technically this week included the uh, the party. Oh shit! Yes. Right. So the party was that was lit. Yeah, that was super lit. That was lit. Um, that was lit. And then oh, I saw Joe Coy also. He was really lit in person. I think he's he's better in, in person. person than on his specials. It was I an think hour. his specials a lot, but no, it was longer. When they when they go, it'll be like an hour and a half. Yeah. Because most of the specials they cut down to an hour. Yeah, yeah they added them. And, and they don't a, have. He had an opener. Yeah, he had one opener. He was pretty good. Did he was good. Name? I don't remember his name. He was really not really. He was. I thought. Yeah, I would say he was really like good. Like he was a good setup for Jokoi. Right, because he okay. like, he definitely warmed the audience up. Okay. Like mm-hmm. it was gradual. Like he was he, not that he started out slow, but in the beginning it was like, all right, we don't really know who he is, so he's kind of just like setting setting a baseline, and then he kind of killed it towards the end, and then Jokoi came on. That's how I felt about uh, Trevor Noah. But uh, a Trevor Noah, yeah. Like he's in in person. He, when he's I, so much more funny. Yeah, yeah. But I he's think funny that's, on TV. Yeah, I think that's all comedians too, though, because there's like, is that you can get more personal? Yeah. Than if it's a special. So he was like, trying to reference a lot of Miami stuff and. But a big. He's making fun of people being late. <laughs> a big part of the in person yeah. thing is. A lot of times, your laughter will come off the energy of the the crowd. Like if you just watched in a special by yourself. Like you're not gonna be belly aching laughing you like you lying? would be. That's a lie. That's a damn lie. I be I'm, rolling. I'm, 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 yeah. I be rolling. Okay, I'm yeah. saying you may be belly like belly laughing by yourself, but I do think a psychology thing is like if you hear other people laughing, that's gonna make you oh, laugh agreed. harder. Oh, agree. But that doesn't add like for me. That doesn't add to the special, like, yeah. cause I don't care if you laugh at a joke. Like, yeah. if I'm at a live show and I think that shit yeah. funny, I'm laughing. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So for me, it's just like I, like, I'll watch it in in front of TV, and me and be Danny and be watching the special, and I'll be cracking up, and she's just looking at it. And I'm just like, she's like, you thought this? I'm like, bro, yeah. rolling mm-hmm. off the dumbest shit too. So I just like in live, you get the uh, impromptu jokes yeah. that you don't More like, you, like you said that they don't put on the specials, cause they they interact with the crowd a lot more too. Yeah, like for he sure. was, bro, he was. Eating the crowd up, it was funny. I'd be wanting to go People to more went with their shows. kids, and bro, he destroyed this one kid in like a good way. Because I mean, he was, he's never gonna forget it. But he was um he basically gave like the kid was fourteen and came with his parents. He basically gave the sex talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was like, your parents been wanting to tell you this. <laughs> um, 
and he was like yeah it was it was hilarious like nice nice hey shout out joe core were you close to the stage um it was like fairly decent i got the tickets through work so they're pretty good tickets got you that's what's up all right moving on so next we have streaming did y'all watch god forbid What's the that? doc that oh, I told you to watch. I almost I didn't finish it. Oh, I'm no. like ninety percent through. Bruh, and hey, I don't know how. So is it like a, a, you're gonna ruin the ending if you talk about it? No, I mean the ending. He just kind of like redeems himself. That's all. Like as far like as the the, the main character, the, the, like the main dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Phil, I definitely need you to watch it because I feel like you want to be part of a cuck situation so bad, like an old lady hitting you up and. A nigga being like, oh, I want you to fuck my wife right in front of me. I don't want necessarily, I, I would do it, but I don't necessarily want to do it. I more so just want to know the woman, like yeah, a yeah, good yeah. situation like that. And you know, it's crazy. I saw that trailer before you ever mentioned it. Yeah. And for, it's just being on Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon no, Prime. it's on right? Hulu. Okay. If it's on Amazon Prime or Hulu, I never go back to check for it. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm just never like, because I know they got, there's some good documentaries I want to watch on Amazon Prime too. And I always forget when I go to, like, as soon as I go, I'm like, let me go watch a good documentary. I go straight to Netflix and forget about the other ones. Because I yeah. saw the trailer yeah. when we was watching um, Abbott Elementary. Okay. Netflix just does documentaries, I feel like, the best, too. So, just for the listeners, um, the doc is called God Forbid, made by the same guy that made the U30 for 30 Part 1 and 2 and Cocaine Cowboys. Which, That's why I wanted to watch it, because they mentioned the Cocaine Cowboys. Yeah, so it's the same dude that made both of those, and it's about... A kid that got approached by a man and woman um, to kind of be in this cuck triangle or whatever. Uh, dude wanted the kid to fuck his wife. He's not a kid. He's like 20 years old. Uh, but wanted him to fuck his wife in front of him. They find out or the kid finds out that the couple is uh, Falwells. I forget the first names. Becky and I want to say Jim or some shit like that. Who's the president of Liberty University, which is like one of the biggest uh Christian evangelical University. Christian school or some shit like that. Um, and then dude gets like tied up with Trump and his uh, presidential race and all that stuff. And it's a whole bunch of shit, but it, it's just crazy. And the dude, the family kind of ends up running this kid's life. Like he doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. Imagine but the going wife, to Liberty and this comes out and you're like, <laughs> it was based in Miami too, right? Yeah. Cause the well, kid they, is, the kid is from Miami. Yeah. yeah so that's how they met. Cause he had worked at Fountain Blue. I need to go. Well, found, they found him Lee, do a part time job. They found him Lee. Worked <laughs> yeah. there on the weekends. Yeah. Like, so, what do you Bruh. do? I'm just trying to fuck your wife. <laughs> With Bruh, Danny's permission, of course. So, they gave him a business crazy. and everything. Yes. Like, right. gave he, this. Niggas be fumbling in a bag. For real. But the thing, and. <laughs> they started con- trying to control yeah, his they, life. Like I said, they were controlling. Like, he found a girlfriend, but the wife wasn't too happy about it. Like, he was trying to get jobs, and he felt like. They were kind of uh, ruining the job opportunities for him. Like, they just wanted him to work for them. Um, but he wanted to be his own person and live his own life. So well, I guess you got a documentary out of it, so you Gucci. You yeah. got a documentary? Yeah. I wonder how, like, he went about, like, did he talk about how he went about having the documentary or, like, who found out or who wanted to approach him for it and stuff? Yeah. Uh, like, it, it was... seemed like he was scared to, like, talk to anybody or, like, Yo, these people got power. Yeah, they, it was one gonna... of the, like, writers or some shit like that for, like, a newspaper, I think it was, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, definitely finish it, AJ, and then watch it, Phil. It's, it's, it's really good. Noted. I'm going to add it to my list. Try to knock it out this weekend because I got Sundays available because the Eagles yeah. don't play. Then we have the second part, I guess we'll call it, three episodes of Love is Blind came out. Did you watch those? No, this is like the third one. The third, like, releasing of them. The next one is going to be the finale and then the reunion. And no, like, this was, because the first one was, like, episodes one through eight or whatever, and then this was, or seven, I think this was eight through ten. Oh, the first the, was one through seven? I, I thought it so, was, yeah. like, one to four, and then four to, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but it was three more episodes. People are starting to get married and whatnot. And uh, I was definitely you. You said you watched it. Oh yeah, you want you all the way caught up. Yeah, I didn't think uh, SK, SK was gonna yeah. be like. I did not like, see. I that. could I could see why because he's like, oh, this is not the right time. Yeah. Um, and I think he still wants to be in a relationship with her. He's just yeah. like, I'm not gonna make you marry me, and then I'm gonna be gone. Yeah, exactly. And then you're gonna be. You don't want to really want to move, so now it's gonna be a long distance yeah. marriage to start. That's kind of. Yeah. So, and also last episode, I, 
I didn't see the very last episode of the first installment, I guess you'll call it. So I said that Matt and Colleen would probably be the only couple to make it. Absolutely yeah. not. I don't know why I said that. You they're, so? No, they're not. They're not going to make it. That nigga is too insecure and crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but who haven't we? So we saw SK. That goes back into living in the moment. Yeah, exactly. Like he's letting his past, his past pain. For sure. For <clears throat> sure. So we saw SK and Raven. We saw. Uh, it ended with Bartice and yes, and and whoever Nancy. it is that's not gonna make it. <laughs> like, if Bartice says yes, he's just trying. To, he's just trying to get married yeah. for the houses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I honestly, initially, the entire time, me and Tatiana were like, "No, that's not gonna last. It's not gonna work." But I legit do think he's gonna say yes. If he does, oh my gosh. <laughs> it just sounds like the entire time he's trying to convince himself. Yeah, yeah. Or just play the part. But definitely uh, ready to see the finale. And, and the reunions. When is the week. finale and reunions going yes. back to bite? Exactly, exactly. All right, we can move on to music. So yesterday. Wait, I have one more oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You thought. Oh, a podcast. So um, I told Phil about it, but the Lex Friedman and Kanye one is pretty good. And it's not like um It was recent. It, yeah, it was like it's probably a week old now. It was I think it was after he sent that tweet out. Yeah, it's post controversy, right? Right. Did you see the whole thing or no? Mm mm. Not yet. It's yeah. on my list of stuff. I haven't and, Brian been I've been busy all week. Yeah, and he's um Lex Friedman's a really good interviewer and he like make, not makes people feel comfortable, but he's not um he's not like interrogating, you know? They have like a con- he has a conversation with people. Yeah. So, I f- I feel like a lot of times you get the charged Kanye, cause like especially on like network television, cause they're attacking him with questions. Yeah. Where this entire time there's one time where he gets like a little emotional about one thing, but um, and I can understand why he did, but other than that, it was like pretty chill. It was just him expressing himself, his ideas, and so on. Yeah. So, I feel like if you want like a balanced view or a balanced or um i don't say balanced but an unbiased kind of like uh interview then from kanye just to see what like he's talking about and stuff then i I will watch that okay yeah then definitely check that out um music yesterday we had a huge release drake and 21 savage they dropped what was it her called? loss yeah her <laughs> oh loss. my god Zach. Her jesus <laughs> christ man you're in miami bro <laughs> i was gonna say sorry for her loss uh <laughs> but no um Wait, what is my what does miami have to do with it niggas in miami love drake oh really? that is that is true bro yeah, yes miami like definitely love drake. if you had to find the biggest drake fans of dudes miami would probably be mm-hmm. second to toronto mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Miami yeah, would yeah. definitely niggas in Miami. Miami love Drake. Yeah. Yes, bro. Niggas in Houston might love Drake too. Not more than Miami, bro. Yeah. I don't. Nah, not more than Miami. Um, but did y'all listen? I did. Did you listen, AJ? No, no. Yeah, no, no. What would you think of it, Phil? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I knew you was gonna come in here and you just thought be it was like, good. Mm, I think it's really good. Yeah. yeah. Like it's not. It's better than um, Certified Lover Boy. It's definitely better yeah. than Certified Lover Boy. I like it. Yeah. Like, I can listen to it. Um, there's songs, more songs I'll go to than others. Mm-hmm. Um, but for a, for a collaborative project, if, we, if I'm just looking at it on, like, a collaborative standpoint, it's almost it's a little disappointing because it. I feel like it's not as collaborative as I would have liked it. It's like a Drake album with 21 features mm. as opposed to a 21 and Drake album. Okay. You know what I mean? Like how yeah. they was going back on the back future. and forth on Jimmy Cooks. Yeah. You don't get that on most all the songs. You get like a 21 verse, hella Drake shit, a whole Drake song, not a whole 21 song. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was cool. I like the production's good. Um, Drake's rapping. It's rapping Drake. I like rapping Drake. So yeah. I don't have nothing bad to say about it. I, I'm not. It's not the hypest shit ever. You know, how people. Do you hype like Drake. it more or less than the Drake and Future collab? The Big Rings. That, the Diamonds Dancing. Yeah. Well, they had that ha- album. Remember with the diamonds on it. Yeah. No, I like that album better easily. Okay. That's one of my favorite Drake projects. What was it called again? I can't remember. I, I feel I like know we all the just, songs, but I don't know the actual name of the. 
Yeah. What, what a time to be alive. No, it's not what a time to be alive. No, I think, it, I think you're right. What, what a time to be alive, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. what a time to be alive. Yeah. yeah, what a time to be alive. Um, It was, it was, good. It was good. Drake and Savage made good music together. Yeah. So it wasn't bad. Um, I personally like, honestly, never mind better. Okay. Just because I just like that album a lot. Yeah. Like, probably more, because I think Drake and that element is really good. Yeah. This album's good. Got some bangers. I think the second half of the album was a lot better than the first half. First couple songs is kind of like, yeah. Yeah. All right, that's what we coming with. But they definitely picked it up middle second half and killed it. So yeah, it was cool. Yep, yep. I fuck with the album heavy. Um, honestly, I think it could be up there for album of the year. Um, and I really do like that last Drake project a lot as well. Um, and I'm not even a Twenty One Savage fan like that, but this album is damn near flawless to me for what I was expecting. Maybe it's just because the bar was low. Maybe that's why I just like album of the years. I don't know because I mean for like a collaborative album, I need y'all to kill it, bro. Like if we look at this collab album and put them up to the other collab albums. Yeah, I don't think it's cracking the top five, top. You know what I mean? Because I don't think it beats out What a Time to Be Alive. It doesn't beat out Watch the Throne. I don't think it's better than Good Meets Evil or Bad Meets Evil. It's not. So it's like I don't know, bro. Like, it's a good album, don't get me wrong, but I also think that there's a bar for Drake where it's yeah. just like, all right, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. Like, it's hard to explain. I get it. But on this album, Drake was definitely taking shots at everybody being petty Drake. Um, before we get into what Phil was alluding to earlier, he took shots at Meg, allegedly, Took shots at Ice Spice allegedly. Yeah. And called Serena's husband a groupie. A groupie. That was hilarious. <laughs> Drake, what is you doing, my nigga? And that Why? bar wasn't even that good. <laughs> Why are you taking shots at everybody? So the main controversy, which I'm disappointed about because it's on my favorite song. And hopefully Drake or the record label really? or That's whatever your doesn't. Song? Yeah. <laughs> hopefully they don't take that. I think it's just because I like the sound. One more time. I just like that <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> um, that sounds like some Phil shit. Yeah, but uh I I hope they don't like take the song off the album. Maybe they mute no, the bar or some. Sh- I don't think so, bro. The PC time we living in now. Remember they took the whole YG My Crazy Life off That's, the album. My G was talking about like how to rob a nigga yeah, specifically, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. like how to target a whole community. Well, Asians specifically, yeah, Vietnamese, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, no, it's Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Yeah, and it was during the whole Stop Asian Hate uh, time. But yeah. that song was out way before though. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't. You're talking about home invasions. Yeah. yeah, when you gotta hit them up this way at this yeah. time because they at work. Like, yeah. yeah, just literally laying it out how niggas do it. But yeah, so and then obviously we see everything that's happening with Kanye. They haven't taken any of Kanye's music off the of streaming, but I feel like we getting damn close to that shit. No, so. because it's to me that's just being soft, bro. Because one, the 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 actual verse is about BBL shots. Mm-hmm. It's a double, like it's a double entendre. So you could take it as he's talking about her getting shot. Mm-hmm. And again, it's the actual, the verse is more so about BBL shots because he's because yeah. he's saying they line about being slugging, mm-hmm. pretty much having asses. Yeah. Um, but even if it was a shot at Megan, it's rap, and that's that's my standpoint. Like, and I know people probably gonna kill me. Um, we're all about protect black women. Like we've been on that hill. We and we all agree with that. But like you said, it is rap. Like. If we're going to treat women equally and have give them equality, they have to be able to take those, no pun intended, those shots uh, the same way that men take it. So Drake, he's gone at Pusha, he's gone at Kanye, he's gone at plenty of other rappers before, um, and it's radio silence, but now that it's at Meg, which I get, and I think we can all agree that that Tory Lanez Meg situation, like that shit was mad corny if Tory did shoot her, um... Like, Drake shouldn't have taken that line, uh, did that line. Like, it wasn't the greatest line in the world. It's not a, it wasn't a good bar. But I also it. don't think it's, like, something that we need to be up in arms about. <clears throat> you feel me? And again, these are probably the same people that was like, Pusha T went too far. Yeah. Pusha T went too far. He talked about his mom and his yeah. son. Yeah. It's like, bro, it's rap, so shut the fuck up. It's like, yeah. do you, women have fought for equity and equality in the space. And then mm-hmm. the same group, like, the same people... Yeah, because men too. That's on that train. It's like okay, y'all have equity now. Mm-hmm. Y'all at the top of the rap game, so this is what comes with being at the top. Yeah, getting shot at. Mm-hmm. 
no, like you said, no pun intended. It's yeah. like, and we're not celebrating her getting shot, but it's a bar. Everybody catches strays and rap. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. fucking Serena's husband was at the crib like, what the hell did I do? <laughs> caught a stray. Ice Spice. Caught a stray. Yeah. Like, who cares? You talked about Ice Spice? Yeah. He said, said. she's 10, but her, her, her song's better on mute or some shit like that, right? Oh, jeez. And, it, it, and it is true. Yeah, it wasn't like, <laughs> for true. sure, this is Ice Spice, but everyone was kind of alluding to it. And even Ice Spice, she her she uh, took light of the situation. She was like, at least I'm a t-, She tweeted, at least I'm a 10 or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say emojis. she's a 10, though. But yeah. You don't think so? No, nah, he said that last week. He doesn't well, think she's that cute. She overrated. Nah, I'm just kidding. kidding. I was like, <laughs> nah, hell no. I just think she she's slugging, but that's about it. She, she she's attending she, to somebody, you know. Yeah. True, but no, my my thing is, and then like Megan's reaction, because here's my thing, right? And this is where I get canceled because I when you when you become when you go in a male dominant dominated space, mm-hmm. regardless of gender, I hold you to those same male dominated standards, mm-hmm. right? So, Megan raps about similar shit to men do. She raps about getting over on niggas, sex, and just like hood shit, hard yeah. shit, right? You get shot. We don't know who did it. Allegedly, Tory Lanez, mm-hmm. still in fucking court. We don't know, right? So, you get shot, and then you make a whole album about the outcomes of being shot. So, like going through depression, blah, 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 blah. If a man did that, He'd be considered corny. Yeah. But because a woman does it, we give her empathy. Can't have it both ways. Yeah. Can't be in a violent space, and then when violent shit happens, you complain. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's my take on is like, okay, like, I, I get it, but if we're going, do you want equality or do you want equity? Yeah. Because we're treating you like equals. But once we treat y'all like equals, and mm-hmm. then within the concept, context of this space, there's backlash. Yeah. No, that you gotta take that comes with the game. Yeah, and so my was she upset about it? Yeah, yeah she, she was went pissed. In. Yeah. yeah, she was pissed. It's like, oh, making light of being shot, like he, Drake trying to get clawed off my name, and I'm like, it's Drake. Yeah, <laughs> trying to get, trying to get clawed off. My and name. my thing is, Meg is has every right to feel this way. Like my issue she is more just, so she just needs to distract. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Rap. But my main issue is what Phil was talking about earlier: the <laughs> scholars on Twitter and whatnot. Like everyone is putting out stories of Drake that I've never even fucking heard of in my life. They talking about how Drake got peed on, how Drake has a well, fucking Diddy peed on a nigga and like they fought him. What? Diddy slapped him or accidentally <laughs> See, pissed on him. Wait, never heard what? Of I've never heard. Like Diddy, 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 uh, like he actually. I'm pretty sure he accidentally got peed on. Like Diddy might have pissed how on his. Did I, I, not even accidentally. Pee- I think Diddy might have pissed on his. It was Diddy or Chris Brown or somebody. Yeah. So they said. They said what? he got peed on. They said Diddy slapped him. Diddy did slap him. They, they said that Drake has like a fake stomach or some shit like that. He I was forget. getting ab treatment or some shit. But they was more so, I think, t- maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I, don't know. I thought they were talking about uh, like he was his actual doing, like he was doing the, organ, his stomach, uh, like his muscles. But that's my, again, bro, that's my thing. It's his rap. Yeah. If you don't like it, don't get on social media complaining about it. Do what Push did. Yeah. Go to the booth. Yeah. It's rap. That would have been lit. And rap is always competitive. Yeah. And sometimes you might catch a stray from a nigga you might not have thought you was going to catch a stray at. But the thing is that all these girls that I know love Drake, they canceling him like, oh my God, I deleted Drake off my Spotify. I muted Drake. Drake is such a cornball, this and that. Drake been a cornball. (laughs) I mean, yes. This is not new. This is not new. Yes, but this (laughs) Drake been a cornball. This herd mentality and cancel culture, like this shit is so fucking annoying and repetitive. I fucking hate it. It's like, at what point do we just let people live? And if you don't like it, okay. Yeah. Who cares if you don't like it? No one got. I think it's just, it happened very closely to like, uh, not people complaining, but people talking about violence in the culture and yeah. rap and stuff and the effects of it. And then he just started talking about that. So when you, when take I off, think, I mean, not he just started like yeah. take off, get shot. And people are still like feeling the like mourning, the mourning yeah. and like that of it. And then you talk about someone who got shot also and survived or whatever happened. And it just, it's probably just bad timing, yeah. honestly. But the thing is, like with cancel culture, all us three can agree that it's pretty corny and stupid. Um, but I can understand you canceling somebody that does. 
and again, I'm a Kanye fan, but like if you were to cancel Kanye, I get it because he's doing thing after thing after thing after thing. That's it. Like uneducated, stupid, corny, whatever. Like I can understand someone being like, I'm done with Kanye. But like with Drake, this is like the first like problematic or corny thing that he's done. And you know, and we see it all the time. Like because he went at Kid Cudi for mental health. Oh, I don't remember that. He made, but but yeah. my my point is when you cancel somebody after like one instance, yeah. like that's mad corny. Like people not allowed to make a dumb comment or something stupid. Like you put in mics in these people's face all the time. Like they're bound to say one thing stupid, and then you're gonna cancel them off of one stupid saying or whatever. Mm-hmm. Hey man, keep that soft shit out of rap. Yeah, don't rap all that tough shit. If y'all can take what comes with it, yeah. This the music glorifies violence, and we surprise niggas getting killed. The music glorifies violence, guns, and drugs and sex, so that comes with it. So I'm not surprised when a rapper gets shots. It's sad, but then I'm like, I get it, I understand it. That's why you tend to listen and move away from that stuff. Yeah, because if all you what you think if all niggas talk about is I'm gonna catch a body, and then you get into some shit and a nigga catch a body. Hello. Yeah. That's all we would talk about anyways. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, and it's, and my, and I was the same dude, and I'm the same guy that said, Tory shot Megan, that was a bitch move, because mm-hmm. he shot a one, you shot a woman, yeah. or hit a woman. So I'm, I'm against violence against women. Y'all know where I stand yeah. on that. But at the same time, it's rap. It's, yeah. You talked about you getting shot. Go in, a, go in a booth and light Drake ass up. Exactly. That's it. Talk about him being corny. You Meg the Stallion. Like, you can, you can really rap. Go rap about him. Yeah. We need some. We need that type of diss track in hip hop, anyway. So she should. I mean, she's. She should probably say she could probably whoop him too. Probably she's six. <laughs> Megan like six foot five eleven. That's a that's she a lot said, of women. We, really, we could really squabble. Gee shit, it's a lot of women. She probably could catch a body on Drake low key. That's what I'm saying. People <laughs> would believe it. Like that would be a lit bar, regardless of if she actually could or not. Yeah. I think people would be like, "That's probably true, Drake." You saw. So Drake, over the years, has been accused. Well, yes, he's, he's, <laughs> he's also been accused of having ghostwriters, but I think you need to go into your place and look for any notepads that Danny might have been writing down on, because I think she might have ghostwritten on one of Drake's songs well, wow. what called, happened? called Broke Boys. Oh, damn. <laughs> song there's, solid, though. There's oh. a song called Broke Boys, and Drake talking about how he can't talk to Broke Boys, and I'm like, yo, did Danny ghostwrite this shit? Did he, just, did <laughs> he rip she, that straight from she reach uh, out Playboy to Cardi? What are your favorite songs on that album so far? So I want to judge you. Coco Loco. Corny. Uh, hold on, let me pull it. Definitely, cor- definitely corny. Is corny that what it's called? Coco Loco. Coco Loco. Uh, 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 Sarai. Sir, circle, Sir, circle, circle, Circle Loco. Loco. Um, I really like Middle of the Ocean. And usually when I listen to songs, I don't look at the song titles. When I was listening to that, I thought. Yo, this is one of the time and place Drake songs. That should have been 3 a.m. in Glenwood. Exactly. I thought the same thing. Exactly. So okay, 3 a. so we, we own there. Okay. Yeah, 3 a.m. in Glenwood was cool, but it definitely should have been uh, middle of the ocean. Jumbo shit, or sorry, Jumbotron shit popping. I like that one. Bro, I, I'm going to be listening to every song because I, I like literally every <laughs> song on this shit. Okay, so middle of the ocean might be my favorite. Like I said, the middle of the album... Was the best part of the album? Yeah, pussy, pussy and millions is up there for me. I really like that song. Um, and I think more M's maybe. I can't, I can't, I can't, I gotta, I can't remember. But I know for sure, middle of the ocean, pussy and millions. Like from hours in silence, probably to the end, was my favorite part of the album. Okay, like them first opening tracks did not do it for me, for real, for real. Got you, got you. Yeah. All right, my bad. What did you guys talk about? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, it was it was the next. It's in the next topic. I right, bring it up. We done with the uh, Drake. So it's sports now. Mm-hmm. Bro, Kevin Durant yesterday. That cro- like that was a good <laughs> move, but I also feel really bad for dude because it was clearly a wet spot on the floor. Yeah. Oh, you think? And they you didn't hit. see it. You didn't no, see I, his I foot did. Slip? I did. I just thought he but, slipped. <laughs> no, that's definitely it. Definitely had yeah. to have been wet. There's no way you slip like that. Yeah. Hopefully he didn't get injured either, because like. You the could mess up your groin. Uh, you could mess up your hand. Yes, yeah, but the way he was laying on the they ground, the, bro. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> court, bro, they the got that room. picture too. Like, oh, he's forever gonna be like <laughs> looking down, like, and this is when this I is knew a, I have looked up. <laughs> quick side note: Did y'all ever listen to the deluxe album of Melodic Blue? I don't even know nah. who that is. Yeah, who Baby is? King. 
No, nah, I didn't. Right. Oh, the, I should probably check they it dropped out. the deluxe album. I only like two songs off this thing anyway. Really? You should go back and listen to it. Off of that? Is that the one where, um, mm, 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 that one? Rover and then Gang, he has the one with Bryson, Bryson Tiller on it? Yeah. Yeah, there's like two it's songs. It's a lot of hoes in here, a bunch of lost souls. Yeah, they yeah. lost souls, and then, and then, uh, there's one more. Jimmy oh, orange, the, orange, um, soda. Orange soda was on a double, couple other projects. Oh, okay. Never this mind. one was the the features <laughs> with uh, Kendrick. Okay. But yeah, we can go back to sports. I just wanted to get that out there. I forgot to put that out there. Like, yeah, there, go listen to oh, the Kodak's deluxe album. Was, Kodak's album was pretty good. Yeah. Like I still all the way through. To it. Nah, it's like the, I like the beginning more than I think I like the end, but it's all pretty good. I like his. I like the the beat, the flow, and like. That are kind of I like cutthroat built for sure. If people can say whatever they want about Kodak. One thing they can never say is production and beats. Right. Like Kodak never, in my opinion, misses on any type of beats. I love. And his he beats can write any beat. Yeah. Like he could be good on any beat. Yeah. So, if you don't understand him, that's one thing. But. Hey, but he, he said if you don't, if you don't, <laughs> what he say? It ain't for you if you if don't yeah, understand. It ain't me. for you if you don't understand me. Yeah, he said it is though. So. Yeah. But yeah, back to sports. Sorry, I digressed. <laughs> um, so Eagles ain't no. Okay, yeah, NFL. Eagles ain't no. Yeah, we have time, so let's talk. Let's get your Eagles talk off field. That's, that's it. Shady. That's how I was want to say we ain't no. <clears throat> but y'all be I I fell know? asleep during the game. Um, and I know you said you y'all were playing like shit. And typically, I look up extended highlights, but I didn't for that game. What trash? What was good? What was bad? What was concerning? Uh, shit, our run defense was concerning. Damian Pierce has had like 130 yards rushing. But Damian Pierce is also a beast. Yeah, but He'll our probably run defense be offensive is, rookie of the year. Our run defense is not that bad, but we missed oh, really? Jordan Davis. Um, Jalen Hurst is that nigga. Wait, so did Quinn play also? Yeah, he got some reps. But Javon Hargrave went off. Three sacks, three quarterback hits. Yeah. Three hurries. Um, yeah, man, it was, it's one of them, it's Thursday night game, bro. Like. Texans came out, scored on the first drive. Mm-hmm. First time they scored on the first drive all year. And I'm thinking, like, damn, like, we're not going to wake – Jalen Hurst from Texas, first time playing in Texas. Um, at halftime, it was tied. So, it was just like, all right. Mm. It was just a good game. It was like one of them games where you he thought played it was going to be a He's game. from Houston. Yeah, he's from Houston. You said first time playing in Texas, so it threw me off. Well, it's first time playing in Texas Stadium. Because he didn't make it to the state championship in high school, so he never played in the Texans Stadium. He never played the Dallas Cowboys? No, you're saying in the Texans. Texans stadium. Oh, Texans. Yeah, Texans stadium. Like oh, I thought you were saying a Texas stadium. That's what it sounded like. Oh, the first. Texans stadium. Yeah, it's NRG. I thought it was, I was thrown off. Yeah, so it was his first time playing it, like at home. In Houston, though, that's why. Because he's specifically yeah. from Houston, right? Because from Houston, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were saying the first. Oh, the camera just died. Or Ben uh-huh. did. So, um, yeah, man, so it was cool. Like, AJ Brown got a touchdown. Got her, got a touchdown. We won, bro. It's like one of them Thursday night games. We won. We go get rest, and we ain't no. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty lit. Um, Dolphins. It trade deadline just happened. Dolphins got Nick Chubb and Jeff Wilson. Major move. I think that. I mean, I don't. Jeff Wilson's just another guy. I think, but that's got, the running back from uh, San Francisco, no? Yeah, he's um. Is he really that good though? Shit, San Francisco just got good running backs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you just assume he'll be do, all right. But yeah. I, don't know if it's, I don't know if it's him or it's just the scheme is really good for running backs. So we got him, got off of uh, Edmonds' contract, I guess, and then picked up Chubb. So that was pretty cool. Got a an elite pass rusher. I didn't – I mean, everyone says he's really good, but I don't know. <clears throat> he, was the first, he was what, second pick overall when he was drafted? It just, I'm not sure what he was drafted, but he's nice. It just depends on if y'all use him the same way in the scheme he's in. The yeah. problem is when players get moved, if they're not used the same or used to their strength, right? It's no we point. always pick up. I mean, I guess our defense is pretty strong too, like at the DB position, but we usually always pick up like rushers all the time. Like, I, I, he's a linebacker, and I'd like him to be like more of a, I guess, hybrid, but he's just. But, Pass rusher, but you need pass rushers. So. Yeah, it's gonna be better for Xavier Howard if y'all secondary is good, bro. Yeah, it don't even your linebacker play can be mediocre as long as you get into the quarterback, right? And you got good secondary play. That's but I feel like Dolphins haven't been getting to the quarterback. Uh, that's not thing. I think it's a good pickup. And their linebackers have been pretty shit. Like Jerome Baker is like the only one linebacker that I could probably name. And two, he's in my opinion been been kind of mid the last couple of seasons. I like that move a lot for y'all. And I think 
that's a game changing move, mm -hmm. especially late in the year. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you have to go, like low key, it, like we probably would be. We probably have one loss, maybe two, if Tua never gets hurt. You yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, what he's undefeated right now. Mm -hmm. he, has, he hasn't lost a game with, that he finished. Yeah. Yeah. I think we lost that one game where he got hurt in the middle of it. Oh, to the Bengals, right? Yeah, I did. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to pull up some of the other. Yeah, if y'all meet, uh, if y'all meet, I mean, Commanders got you said meet what? Say if y'all meet, um, the Bills or At the, the Chiefs end of the season or something. Yeah. yeah, that's when Chubb gonna show out. Right. I mean, we need him for division too. We still got a. I think we're second. In, I mean, third in the division just because really? the Jets been doing well. Yeah. Um, I forgot the Jets is playing well. So, I mean, we beat the Bills once. If we beat them again, that makes our case. Not case even better, but, I mean, obviously we'll move. That's a division game, so we'll move up in yeah. the division. But um, <clears throat> we really almost have to win out, kind of, just because the division is pretty strong. Nah, I think you get wild card. Be, yeah, I, I think y'all will be straight. Yeah. And I think. Because the AFC is kind of weak this year, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I th also think the Jets will get figured out. I mean, like, the season is first a half of the season. Been, yeah, yeah. So you know, you, the good teams really start to figure out in the second so half. Do you think and they Giants make and Jets are going to slow down? Oh, for sure, <laughs> they will. For sure, they will. They well, will. It, I don't. I mean, the the Commanders are four and four now too. <laughs> they even, they figured a couple things yeah. out, but they also played the Packers, who have been trash. Jets definitely are going to slow down because they lost. Uh, what's his face? For the year, um, and now they're trying to figure things out with their new running back from the Jags. Oh, um, Brees Hall. Yeah, and Zach Wilson is terrible. Buns. James Robinson, uh, he's good though. So yeah, 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 but I don't know if. Oh, Zach be... Wilson is terrible. Yeah, exactly. that's what I was saying. That's why the who they they drafted Cedric. No, something someone else Wilson, Garrett Wilson, Garrett Wilson. Yeah. That's why at that on the episode I was like, I don't know if I trust him. You're like, yeah, you're saying he was better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what made Zach Wilson look good was Brees Hall, and he was balling. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, they was doing. Wilson. They was taking a Tennessee approach, <clears throat> leaning on their run game and defense. Yeah, I thought Wilson would take a step in a year or two. And I mean, yes, he started off the year injured, and he's still trying to get that uh, chemistry and whatnot. But he's definitely been worse than what I thought he'd be. Um, but Jags, they got Calvin Ridley. Did y'all already say that? Oh uh, no, I didn't say that. No. Yeah. So that, that's lit for next year, though. Yeah, that is an interesting move. Um, Depends on how he comes back. Yeah, exactly. Because you take a year off, what are you doing in that year? Are but you he's been off like two ready? years now. Yeah. Because he was off last year when he was gambling. And now he's suspended for this year. So when well, he was off injury. Well, he was injury. And he was injured he got, last yeah, year. Yeah, he was injured, and then the gambling. So he's yeah. so he's coming off of injury. On top of you been out for a year. So well, he wasn't. He wasn't injured. He took the year off for mental health. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he took it off for mental health. Oh, yeah. I thought he was coming back from an injury then, and then he took it off yeah. for a mental. mental. Yeah, but I don't know. It's a. Uh, you can look at it two ways. Like he he doesn't have two years of getting hit and getting like game wear and tear. Yeah. So that's cool. But um, as long as he comes back sharp and in shape. He should be good yeah. once he gets his, I guess, football legs back under him. Yeah, if he don't come back close to in shape, I don't think that's going to be a good trade. Well, would they, they didn't really give up much, did they? For really? No, I think it was a uh, – hold on, let's see. Probably a couple – second or third. Really? Uh, in exchange, the Falcons would receive a 2023 fifth-round pick and a conditional fourth-round selection. Oh, even lower. Fifth yeah. yeah. Okay. That's not bad for – when he was playing, uh, probably top 10, yeah, top 12 receiver. I wanted him, too. I ain't going to hold you. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. When he was on the market, I wanted him over, uh, who was that nigga that got paid all that money in his buns? Who? What did he play for? I forgot. It'll come to me. Um, Bears traded for Chase Claypool. Oh, yeah. And then we traded, we being the commanders, traded William Jackson to the Steelers, too. Yes. And they sent Roquan to the Ravens. Roquan to the Ravens is crazy. Yeah. Bro, it's That's the rich getting like, richer. It's very yeah. on well, they, par for the Ravens. I mean, their, their linebackers, like Queen, hasn't been playing that great. Yeah. But now he'll have Roquan in there. And that the defense in general hasn't been playing that great. But they're no. saying it'll get better because they have, like, now, a, like, a, a definite captain who's going to call stuff out. And, and The frustrating thing is I feel like <laughs> the Ravens – get themselves better at every single position every year except for a receiver yeah they refuse to get this nigga lamar Receivers, any type right. of receiver bro yeah like but it's, yeah i think running is such a big part of the game that they're like all right we need a block it blocking is. receiver so aj brown would have been perfect but yeah you need a receiver who can also block chase capo would have been better he's I a better blocker than aj brown 
No, but he's a good blocker and he's big and physical. Yeah. He's right on par uh, yeah. for what the Ravens look for in receivers. Yeah. But big possession receivers like, like Anquan Bolden. Bolden. Yeah. I feel like that's what's hurt them in the playoffs. Like, yeah, they can run all season, um, but come playoffs, Lamar just – he needs that receiver help. Like, I don't think it was last year, but maybe two years ago when I – like Hollywood Brown and just everyone was dropping every yeah. fucking thing. But like, even still, their offense has been putting up crazy numbers. Yeah. And their defense hasn't been able to hold anybody. And, like, they're known for their defense, so yeah. I get it. Yeah. I would have wanted – I mean, Ro, I think I would have taken Rokron over – Chubb, just because, like, but, I mean, I don't Depends. know. Depends. We also have a lot of pass rushers, though. Yeah, but Roquan's more of, like, a, like your traditional linebacker, Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we, we don't, we haven't had one like that since, like, Zach Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I've, that's, I've been really, really wanting a linebacker Yeah. for that reason, but, uh, I don't know. It seems like the Dolphins, people are know, know what they're doing, so. Yep. Um, what else we got? NF. Oh, then we also had uh, Hawkerson get traded to the Lions, which that was kind of weird. Um, no, get traded to the Vikings from the Lions. Oh yeah, sorry, that's it's a I good meant. pickup for the Vikings. He's a dog. Um, the Rams allegedly tried to give up two first round draft picks for Brian Burns. Who? Oh, the, he's the linebacker. Uh-huh. Linebacker. They want the Eagles to trade for. Him. Yeah. Went two first year. rounds. Yeah, but he's like that. He's really good. Yeah, he he's better that. than Chubb. I would say so, yeah. Oh, really? He's yeah. like that, yeah. He's he's tall worth and long. Pause. Where is he from? Or was yeah. he? He went to FSU. I'm sorry. Where does he play now? Panthers. Oh, Panthers. That's right. Okay, yeah. Um. All right. Off of the NFL. Well, anything else NFL wise? Y'all needed to discuss? No, I just every time AJ Brown makes a play, I go to my sub, bro. We really got AJ Brown. He really texts. Text I be texting. Text, 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 like, bro, we <laughs> really got AJ Brown. I'm like, shit's crazy to me. And I'm like, that's all. You were saying some. You didn't even say AJ Brown. You're like AJ did this, and I was like, "What I do?" <laughs> I, was like, Bruh. I don't think I've ever given a formal apology to Phil and Jalen Hurts, but I will admit now that Jalen Hurts is that dude. And I've thought this for a couple of weeks now. I just don't know if I've officially said this, but I appreciate you because I told y'all niggas to get him in fantasy. I yeah. thought he was gonna be good. And I, I think I told y'all niggas he was gonna be live. I y'all thought he was swearing up and down that he was gonna be buns, and I I'm like, no, nigga, school. he was making plays last year. We just don't have receivers. Yeah, nigga was throwing to Jalen fucking uh, Rager. Yeah, and all them passes AJ Brown is dropping against separation on Rager couldn't. So mm-hmm. it's a big difference. Oh, yeah. what passes was dropping, that yeah. he was dropping and or couldn't get separation yeah, yeah. on? Well, like I thought you were saying AJ Brown was dropping a bunch of passes at first. No, no, Jalen Rager was. So like last year. I thought Hurst played well last year. I was saying, like, I said this early in the year. I'm like, bro, I think Hurst going to be really good this year because he played well last year. They dropped, like, we had last year, like, seven touchdowns dropped and or, and, like, two more taken off for dumbass penalties. So I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, the plays are there. We just need playmakers. Yeah. Right. And now we got more playmakers than Pascal and A.J. Brown. Yeah. That's lit. But what do you say to the people that are saying the Eagles are only 8-0 because of the weak-ass – First half of the schedule, bro. We can only play who's in front of us. Yeah, the Bills lost to fucking. Um, well, they beat the Cowboys. Who but the Bills lost to the weak ass. Who they lose to? What the Colts? Colts. Bill, oh, the Bills lost. Bills to the lost Colts? to the Colts. Yeah. yeah. When? Early, oh, early in the year. Oh, early. Yeah. yeah. It's lost, like okay. Two. So what do you want us to like? If we lose they, to one of them weak they ass have teams, two losses. No, Bills have. One. No, the Chiefs lost to the Colts. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, the Chiefs. But the Bills lost to a weak ass team too. No, they lost no. to the Dolphins. Yeah. Really? Two okay, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking. That I, the Chiefs, I feel like we were on the yeah. same page. But, but my really thing is like. Page. I was just coming because I was like, <laughs> they only have one loss and I know the Dolphins beat them. Yeah. My thing is even it, but but we've beaten the two best teams in the NFC. Granted, we beat Dallas without Dak. Dallas and who? Minnesota. Okay. We Minnesota. We blew Minnesota out. Yeah. That's why I didn't really believe in Minnesota, but they've been, they've been getting it together. Yeah, they yeah. start winning after our loss. But my thing is, bro, we like we did last year. We beat the teams. Our biggest thing last year was we couldn't beat elite quarterbacks, but we beat the teams we were supposed to beat. Mm-hmm. We don't make the schedule. If we lose to a weak yeah, ass team, yeah, Cooper Rush too. Yeah, but if we lose to a weak ass team, then it's bro, y'all seven and one, and y'all lost to a weak ass team. Right, bro. We got if we got a weak schedule, we should be a no. So what's the what's the big yeah. deal? Yeah, you're taking care of business, which is like we I doing mean, what we supposed to do. There's professionals on both sides still, you know. So yeah, like Matt Ryan can have a game, <laughs> even though like he's been. Pretty bad, generally. It's, it's not our fault. Our favorite schedule. Yeah. Our favorite. Uh, schedule our schedule is favorable. favorable. I said our favorite schedule. <laughs> <laughs> All right, NBA. Um, Kyrie. Is, 
Kyrie, he's been suspended by the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. I don't know what he tweeted out, but from what everyone was saying, he just tweeted out a movie link. Yeah, it was a that, link to Hebrew something. Yeah. It's a documentary on Amazon where it uh, talks about blacks are the original Hebrews and pretty much saying that, like, the Holocaust numbers are fabricated. Um, shit like that. Okay. It, like, denies, like, the Holocaust and saying that the original Jews were black or yeah. Hebrews, which there's some faction factuals to that. Yeah. But yeah. But he tweeted it out. Didn't say nothing about it. Just tweeted it out. And then uh, because they or well, because he posted it, he's getting a lot of backlash because they saying, well, you posted something anti-Semitic. Mm-hmm. So and they like, wanted him to apologize and he yeah. didn't. And they wanted him to take it down. So. Got you. And so. when asked about it, he was just like, there's some stuff I agree with in the movie, in the documentary, and there's stuff, stuff I don't. Yeah. And so they said, I guess, no less than five games he'd be suspended. Yeah, I feel like that's overkill, but I don't know. There's no precedent for yeah. it. So. I also feel like they're going to drop him. Because isn't Joe, they're going to drop him. I feel like they're going to drop him. Joe is Chinese. Yeah. He don't care. I feel like he would have been, like if, if the Joe, not that he doesn't care. I shouldn't say that. But he's, he doesn't care as much as a Jewish owner would care. Yeah. Like when, I mean, Myers Leonard did something different. Where like, yeah. he's just like. He said the K word. Yeah. yeah. He said the K he word. Got, he got traded and dropped immediately. You um, can't say the K word in South Florida, but you crazy. <laughs> yeah, no. Right. I mean, is the he, owners are Jewish. still in the league? The owners are, no. No, I don't, I don't think so. He got traded, bro. Well, no one's, Portland, no one's right? heard of him. So people, no, he was in Portland. We signed him, the Heat. Uh, he played one year. That's the year he went to the bubble. He was standing up and all that. But he's like, oh, I'm just doing it because my brother's in the in the army. And then he drops that oh, that's facts. on stream. That's facts. And then, bro, <laughs> everyone was done with him after that. Like, w- the owners are Jewish. Like, yeah. some of the richest Jewish people ever. I mean, just richest people ever in, in, in general. Not, I mean, yeah, in general. It doesn't really matter that they're Jewish, but... It does in this situation because you said you had <laughs> like, a, you yeah, said what Jewish you mean? slur, <laughs> and the owners are Jewish. You're gone. That matters, bro. It's like you look. You got to know who you offending. Like it was. I also didn't realize he it was, was as old as he is. Who Myers Leonard? Yeah, I thought he was mad young. He was about like 32. And he's 30. 30. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I mean, it wasn't like he was hooping, hooping like that. Yeah. So he's a big body, but it was. He actually wasn't playing that well at the time either. Like, it was, like, it was zero dark 30. Don't say nothing about this, like, for at, at work or whatever. And he's no longer, like, he's not coming to the team. Yeah. <laughs> he's just staying at home until we trade him or drop him or something. They traded him to the Jazz, sent a pick over to, and uh, what was it? And the Jazz dropped him after that, waved him. And I think it was the Jazz. But back to the Kyrie thing, um, you got – you also have to keep in mind that it's on the heels of the Kanye controversy. Right. So the Jewish community is already on sensitive. alert. Yeah. yeah. So they probably just think it's a flat out attack now. Yeah. They're just making you know examples. I mean? yeah. So, yeah. So I get it. I, <laughs> it's, cr- it's the, I don't, yeah, I mean, there's no precedent for, for it set. So you got, they kind of can do whatever they want, but it's also like, seems like overkill a little bit. Like mm-hmm. you could say five games suspended without pay. In at least, like at least, so it's kind of like until they feel like it. Yeah. Until they until they feel that you've satisfied or you've apologized in the way that they that want. we want you to apologize. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of it's kind of like strong arming a little bit, but you know. oh for sure because he apologized, but he also was like, "Yo, I'm he not." Apologized, gonna- yeah, he apologized after the suspension came yeah. down and what they and what the discipline was. Um, but he was also being stubborn. Like he could have just said, "I'm not gonna say he should have," because like. It's his prerogative. He can do yeah. whatever he wants. But he could have, knowing that he wasn't trying to do, I mean, I don't know for sure, but him conveying that, no, I wasn't trying to say anything anti-Semitic. I'm not that. I'm one, like I'm a people for all, or, or I'm a person for all people. He could have just been like, no, but he just didn't. It was more about, I think it was like a power thing and being. Yeah. It's a pride to do. thing, yeah. It's like, bro, you're not going to tell me how to apologize or what I can, <clears throat> like, what I can and can't post. Yeah. It's like police and like who, like trying, people trying to police what you post. Yeah. Like, but you can't tell me so it, exa- if it offends you, I don't care. Yeah. It I mean, I wouldn't say that I don't care because it's like it's But it's that's the attitude and, and that the I'm, league the league kinda has like yeah. a, uh 
how they want to be not viewed or something, but val- values that they they want to make sure are here, adhere to. Mm-hmm. But it's like he posted it without context. Um, I guess the words he was saying sound, may have sounded anti-Semitic to people, and he just wasn't outright denying it. So yeah. if you just don't, I don't know. I feel like omission mm-hmm. isn't guilt. So yeah, but you when you post something like that, right? Yeah. So he and then. So he made the post, and then in a, and then in an interview, the guy's like, "Well, why'd you post it? You publicizing?" He's like, "Bro, I'm not pu- publicizing anything. I'm just making a post." Yeah. But you have to identify a nigga. It's like even if you're not publicizing, like saying I fully support it, you publicizing because you're a celebrity, right? And you have a status that people yeah. are gonna follow you and people are gonna watch it, right? So it's that. It's you didn't want to apologize. It's you didn't want to expound on what you believed in, what yeah. you disagreed in. So it's just like you put it out there for people to interpret it. And once you do that and you don't say, look. And you don't clarify when you're asked questions? Yeah. Okay, I get it. That's on, like that's fine. That's his prerogative. Yeah. And that's like, that's why I said could versus should. I just, I don't know. I mean, it's their, their league, so they can do whatever they want. That's the thing. So it's, it's kind of like, yeah. uh, I don't know. It seems like overkill, but I just, maybe I just don't understand the gravity of it. Yeah. But I understand it right am i i think i do but it seems like it matters a lot more than what i think it did you know but again it's who are you offending right right? yeah it's a A lot of the owners are jewish and i can't tell and i can't tell jewish people what to get offended by just like they can't tell black people right exactly yeah like bro you can't tell us what to be offended by as a community so i get it if your community is offended and you got the power to do those moves. Right. Hey, I, I, I'm not going to knock you for exercising your power. Exactly. Because if we had the power, I would do the same thing. If it, if it offended if it offended you the way that it seems like it offended, offended them. Exactly. Yeah. If, if, if there's majority black owners in the league and there's a white player that said something that was felt and like was racist, it, yeah. oh, get rid of that and get rid of them. Yeah. Right. So I, I, I like, I mean, <clears> this <throat> thing, right? It's low-key envy. Cause you'd be wanting that much power as right, a community, exactly. so it's right. admirable. It's like, damn, they got that much power as a community. Just yeah. x these niggas off. So like, I appreciate it. And like I said, you just can't for tell not them. clarifying. Yeah, because it's like, I mean, I I feel like most people don't think he's anti-Semitic, but maybe they yeah. don't feel that way. No, because he's given to a lot of stuff in the past. Right. Like he's given. He to even donated like the things he donated were like five hundred thousand before that suspension came down. So it was like he donated five hundred to the ADU. What is that? Oh, anti defamation. Anti defamation. Right. Yeah. Just for them to And be they like, was like, mm. nope. They're just like, thank you for your money. You're out of here. Still. Nah, like, they didn't take the money. Oh, they didn't? Nah, they said, we don't uh, want it. We, okay. It was like, we, we can't take it in good. They just pretty much said they can't take it in good faith. Right. Because we know your apology is not sincere. <laughs> right. But that's wild. That's what. <laughs> I, I get it. Like I said, it's admirable. It's if that's what. Yeah. If, as a community, that's what you should stand on. That's how you should ap- operate. Right. If we don't feel like you can try it and we don't feel like you empathetic, bro, fuck, you can't throw cash at us. We yeah, got yeah, cash. Yeah. We don't need no, your yeah, cash. Yeah, definitely not knocking them. It's just like, that shit's that, cold. It, yeah, it feels, like, <laughs> it feels like overkill and it's like, do it, I guess. That shit now cold. It just shows you, like, you got to. As a community, you got to get your shit up. You know? Yeah, you, you gotta, got to. That's like, the Jewish community shows you how to operate when they feel disrespected. Yeah. No other community in America shows you. The strength of like, you know what I mean? But I no, I mean, Asian, I don't think I don't yeah. think they don't come down hard in the Jewish community. No, nah. like the Jewish. I think, bro, I think you the, say anything I think the anti-Semitic. LGBT is, is they tough. next oh, yeah. up. Yeah, I yeah. think they next up. But That's if you say true. anything remotely anti-Semitic, bro, you can't even say the K word in a song, and just like freedom of speech. You thought yeah. I'm not putting yeah. that shit on our platforms? Yeah, I respect it. I ain't no, I ain't knocking it at all. That's how you should operate if exactly. you feel disrespected. Um, off of Kyrie though, but staying on the Brooklyn Nets, uh, Steve Nash ended up getting fired. Um, that what was it Tuesday when all this shit happened? We had mm-hmm. yeah, the, t- the trade deadline and Kyrie, and mm-hmm. then we also had take, take off. off. Yeah, <laughs> and then the, so the Nets. Shit, yeah, Tuesday on. was such a weird day. Uh, but yeah, Nash out of out of Brooklyn, and then I haven't heard anything uh further. But is Ime Udoka still? I don't know, the front runner high. or whatever. I think I thought that he was gonna get hired. I swear the reports were, but yeah. I don't it's not official yet, so yeah. I think he was getting I think they might have gotten too much heat for trying to bring him in. It would make sense. Yeah. And then Or how quickly they were gonna bring him in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But then I was asking y'all in the chat because Ime never got fired. 
from the Celtics. He's yeah. just suspended. Right. So how could they? I mean, I th- apparent. I mean, apparently Boston said that they weren't going to stop anyone yeah. from trying to hire gotcha. him. So. Okay. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. <clears throat> the thing is, because they still pay, like, he wasn't suspended without pay. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, he's getting paid a little so bit. So he's yeah. getting paid. Um, And for for them, it's like, all right, well, if you if you let him get hired elsewhere, it doesn't look like you're blackballing him. Right. Or you're ruining his opportunities. Because, cause, I mean, what he did shouldn't be a career ending. Or we, shouldn't it, have been brought to light. Yeah, we don't know. That's what people. Yeah. Like, we don't know the full extent, but it appears that he was having a relationship with a subordinate Mm -hmm. which is you're not supposed to do in corporate america but it also shouldn't be like you can never you should never be able to work here again type yeah so yeah yeah man it's a lot of shit going on um like with all the anti-semitism stuff and it's just like i just feel like the country right now is just heightened like everybody's offended and it's like okay that's what how much freedom of speech do we want yeah that's my thing. It's like when all this shit happens, I think to myself, okay, well, how much freedom of speech do we want? And who governs what freedom of speech is? Who dictates it and who dictates what we can and can't say? Who di- who dictates who we can and can't offend on what's and on what scale? Yeah. Yeah, I mean th- I mean you still you have free speech, but like there's going to be consequences. Oh, uh, 100% for your, agree. For your free speech cuz it's like um most of the time, most of the things we're seeing is private organizations, mm-hmm. or maybe even public organizations, but just organizations that aren't like the government governing what they feel is okay, what's allowed in their fields, I guess, or their uh, industries, parameters, whatever. Yeah, but, but that's, then you that's still what have... I said. But then again, who do we want to govern those things? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like right now, it's govern like it's corporate run shit. Like yeah, but it's like if it, like for the NBA, for example, like all right, this is our league so it's like we set the rules within this league Mm -hmm. so even if you speak freely and it it could affect but a lot of times it's not even like the organizations feeling a certain type of way you have the court of public opinion and then and and then then the organizations react yeah Yeah. exactly yeah but then they could be like all right like you have all this negative press around you we don't want to be associated like that happens in general and even if even not with like an individual like if a company does something wrong or bad, or reveals their views like Chick Fil A. People pulled away from Chick Fil A. Yep. And it's also businesses pulled away from Chick Fil A. And it's also for me, it's well, how how do we want to resolve conflict or shit we don't agree with? Do we yeah. just want to cancel motherfuckers and get them out of here, yeah. or do we want to give people a chance to learn and get better? Right. I didn't. I didn't see anyone be like, yo. I'm gonna sit down with Kyrie and explain to him this and this and yeah. why. No a rabbi said, said he would do it. Yeah, I think a big rabbi in New York City. I forget okay. his name, but he went on. Um, That's cool. Then. He might have been on ESPN, but I didn't see any of that publicized. Yeah. Like I saw. I mean, I guess no one in the sports world did it. That's why ESPN didn't. But like when Myers Leonard did it, Julian, Julian Edelman next day was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go sit down with him and yeah. and and explain to him or something. This shouldn't." like affect his whatever no one said that or okay. how about but Kyrie is just someone you don't really want to be aligned with anyway yeah. like it seems like because he's he's been so so polarizing but. Mm-hmm. or how about you get someone from the Jewish community and someone that sees like that may agree or agree Disagree with the documentary have and have them talk it out and debunk each other yeah like I miss that like we need more of that on television than all the other bullshit. Let's have yeah. dialogue. Well, that's man. that's also like I mean they don't do it that in depth, but the Lex Friedman podcast is like that a little bit with the one with Kanye. Yeah. Um. And he's just like he was just kind of explaining him like oh when you say it like this this is this is why Kanye kind of was like being stubborn about it, which is what Kyrie did. Um. With like using or what he wanted, I would just watch it because like. It's they both make really good points. So, I just think we go into a space where if I don't agree with you on everything, bro, it's fuck you. And yeah. I don't agree with that because I'm yeah. not gonna like even if I don't agree with you, as long as I can respect you, that's it. And we can make this thing work amicably. That's all I care about. Facts. Like, you can think I'm the worst type of black person in the world as long as you ain't you don't try to smoke me, and you see me and it's hi, how you doing? I don't care, cool. 
you can hate me for all I care. As long yeah. as you don't disrespect me or disrespect anybody that's associated with me, we straight. That's how yeah. society. That's how a society's supposed to function. We don't have all these communities don't have to like each other. and They don't have to agree with each other. They just right. need to work together. Yeah, to, for the better good of the society. <clears throat> so, yeah. and I think we moving so far away from that where it's we moving from intolerant like to a to place of intolerance, and once you do that, it's like everybody's gonna be hyper offended, then everybody's gonna want to kill everybody, and that shit's just trash. Yeah. No, I agree. Anything else y'all got NBA wise though? I think that's it. Nah, man, All my right. dog looking like the Wash King, but <laughs> what are you saying, LeBron? Sad, sad to see right now. I hate, I hate looking at my dog. Like yeah, that. LeBron was doing well in the beginning. I mean, it's still the beginning of the season, but the first few games, and then nah, Russ was wasn't, <laughs> and now Russ is doing well, and Bron isn't. I hate to see my dog like this. Hey. Whatever gets him off the team faster, I'm all for it. <laughs> <Damn> it. <laughs> all right, but it's been another episode of Save Wait, for the Pod. Number yeah. 16, Illinois plays Michigan State. Oh, we finna beat them niggas. <laughs> Southern oh, Illinois, we. baby. Saluki. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's been another episode of Saving for the Pod, episode number 88. Phil hit the drop. <laughs> I, re- I really Peace. thought it was Demetrius Thomas. Peace. <laughs>